The second trimester is here. Every day we dance and life's been smiling. I'm delighted cause I got you. Everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back for another pregnancy update. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. I make lifestyle and mommy vlogs over here, so hit that subscribe button so you can be sure to not miss a video when I post a new one. And I'm also gonna leave the link to my vlogging channel in the description box, as well as the playlist for all of my pregnancy updates so far, so you can get all caught up. Well, I am having sort of a casual time here. I don't have my lights set up because they're in my boys room. I did this mistake a couple of weeks ago. They're napping right now and I can't get my lights out of their bedroom to have my pretty lights in the background. So sorry about that. I have horrible allergies right now and so I've rubbed off half of my makeup and I didn't style my hair this morning. So this is what you get. So I am 13 weeks pregnant today. It's super exciting because, um, and there's a debate about when the second trimester starts. Some of my apps said the 12th week. Some of my apps say the 14th week. Some of them say the 13th week. I asked my doctor and he gave me a very, very short explanation. Here's a calculator. You take 40, divide it by three trimesters. I'm a math teacher, so I kind of get nerdy about that, 13 and one third weeks. So what's a third of a week you might ask? Well, let's go 0.333 times seven days, which is two and one third days. So in two days and eight hours, which is two days and a third of a day, I will be in my second trimester officially, which is actually why a lot of uh, people calculate it to be the 13th week because Realistically, the 12th week is your very last full week in your first trimester. A lot of people don't calculate it until the 14th week because that is your first full week in your second trimester, but 13 is kind of at this awkward middle ground. My doctor considers the second trimester to start at the beginning of 13 weeks, just to keep it simple, and that's what I'm doing because he's my doctor. I'm gonna go along with what my doctor said. Since that is all cleared up, let's move on to my stats and symptoms for this week. So I stepped on the scale this morning. I am 117 pounds, so I gained a pound or so since the last time I weighed in. I weigh in every week. And I am 29 and a half inches around the widest part of my tummy. My tummy just continues to feel like it's growing and um, even though it might not be showing in the inches I can tell intestinally like internally things feel so tight and just the other day I was bending down to tie my shoe or no I was lifting my leg up to like bring my foot up to tie my shoe and it was like I couldn't lift my leg as high as I normally do because my belly was getting in the way and that's when you know you're feeling pregnant when you simply cannot suck it in and uh look not pregnant. Like I'm at the point now where if I try to suck it in, there's this big old lump down there that is obviously pregnancy. So it's really fun. And I'm in maternity pants. I'm not really in maternity shirts because I can just go up a size to help that because I'm already a small. So in maternity pants and leggings and yoga pants, that sort of thing to keep nice and comfortable. Um, but as far as symptoms go this week, I have actually been doing even better, which is great to be able to say. So no nausea at all, no food aversion. I do have a hard time eating a lot of food, which is something I talked about a couple weeks ago. So I have been trying to implement smaller meals more often during the day rather than three large meals in the day. That has been helping a little bit. Um, and a new symptom this week, and I, <laughs> it goes with meal time is heartburn. And I have not experienced it until this week. Um, and I was like, why do I feel so sick, but it's in not a nauseous way and my stomach isn't upset. Like I feel this burning in like my chest, my upper stomach. And I was like, oh, this is heartburn. I remember this. I've been here, done that. So I've been having heartburn, um, a little bit of acid reflux, not too bad. I really just have to make sure that I drink enough water at the end of my meal and stay upright. Like not let myself like sit back in my couch and relax or lay down at all for a good half hour 
after I eat a meal to give my digestion time to move everything down a little bit farther. The reason acid reflux or heartburn can happen in pregnancy is because we get this hormone in our bodies. I think it's called relaxin and it relaxes everything just like it sounds. Um, and that opening to from your esophagus to your stomach gets more relaxed and so it actually lets things back up into the esophagus which can cause heartburn. So um, knowing that, I just need to wait for my digestion to happen a little bit more before I relax after a meal. I also have been using some peppermint essential oil which my doctor has cleared me to use um, certain oils. I've brought up to him like the ones I like to use. He's told me what's generally regarded as safe, what's not, you know, that sort of a thing. Um, so peppermint oil has been really great. I know it's not great for when you're a breastfeeding mom. It's actually one of the things I use to help me wean to make my milk supply go down. I do know that peppermint oil needs to be avoided when I'm breastfeeding, but I'm not there yet. It really helps with having an upset tummy and it really helps calm the heartburn. Speaking of remedies and essential oils and that sort of a thing. I'm considering doing a video where I share with you my like first trimester must-haves, like things that I like to eat, things that help me feel better, things that help me combat nausea, fatigue, you know, a bunch of stuff, maybe skincare items. I have a lot of things that I really loved during my first trimester and I'd like to share those with you if that's something you're interested in. So if it is, uh, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. Either way, if I get a good response to that, I will definitely make that video for you guys because it's really fresh in my mind because I just, I have two days and eight hours left in the first trimester. Let's check in on my 13 week baby who is the size of a lemon this week. I just cannot believe how fast these weeks are going by. I think I say that every single week. I actually think a lot of moms, if you watch these pregnancy videos on YouTube, you hear that a lot. But baby this week is the size of a lemon, which means it's about three inches long and 0.8 eight of an ounce, so almost an ounce heavy. I've shared this app with you guys before. It's the Bump app. I have it on my iPhone and it has the 3D feature where you can look at the baby in this like 3D model and like flip through the different facts about this week's growth and developments and all of that. A little health update for you guys. I actually posted one on my vlogging channel to update all of the viewers over there on like how I'm doing and you know what's going on since my miscarriage scare that I had that um, if you guys saw last week's update you know me and the baby are doing just fine and uh, the bleeding has completely stopped and you know it was a scary time and moving on I actually got a call from my doctor um, a couple days after I filmed my last pregnancy update basically asking me questions how am I doing how is the bleeding how's do I have any pain do I have a fever like asking me a bunch of questions about my health in general plus my pregnancy health and then at the end of that conversation he determined that I was totally fine to be off of bed rest that I was officially cleared he updated their system you know like to take me off of bed rest officially or you know that sort of a thing so that is always great you know I was feeling way better um, the bleeding had stopped I didn't have any pain like I was feeling really good but then also to have just that on top of it have your doctor say you're fine you're off of bed rest just makes it that much more solid in my mind that I'm fine and that little crazy thing that I experienced is totally past if you guys missed the update about my miscarriage symptoms that I went through this bleeding scare that I had then I am going to leave last week's update in the description box. I also went more into detail on a video I posted on our vlog channel about what happened. It's a, it's a much more emotional video because it was very shortly after everything had happened and I really open up about my heart for women who have actually experienced like the full scope of miscarriage and infant loss and October as we know is actually miscarriage and infant loss awareness month and it just what I went through even though I didn't fully lose a child and I absolutely acknowledge that I didn't experience loss it just really opened my eyes to all these women who have experienced it and I share my heart in that video and leave some resources in the description box so I'm gonna leave that video linked as well because it was it was a really pivotal time in my journey as a mom and I just wanted to share it with you all well I think that is it for 
this pregnancy update. It hasn't been as nearly as exciting or dramatic as the last pregnancy update, but in my mind, no news is good news, honestly. But I wanted to get on here and say thank you for your prayers and your great comments and all the support and love. If you clicked on this video because you want to see what another gal's symptoms are in her 13th week of pregnancy, or you're curious, when does the second trimester actually start? I would love it if you would leave me a comment letting me know what you consider the second trimester of pregnancy to be. When do you think that starts? And what have your symptoms been this week? I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to